So the plan for today is to hunt Hirschfelden, and I want to just come out here in the multiplayer and see if we can find anything good for the Trophy Lodge, because there's a lot of stuff we could definitely add, like a lot of the animals that are on this map, we have very few of in the Trophy Lodge, and I really enjoy hunting Hirschfelden, it's just, I get bored of it I think too easily. So today is a bit of a unique circumstance. The uh, NFL playoffs are on, and I'm pretty much just going to be watching those and playing on Hirschfelden because it'll give me something to kind of pay attention to and hopefully not get bored of the map. So we'll kind of see what that does for us. We're going to see if we can get anything good. I'm probably going to focus a bit on hunting like through European rabbit uh, burrows and trying to get some of them because I just discovered my, uh, it's like the bar room almost in the trophy lodge. I don't have any of those little platforms filled, so maybe that's something we can kind of work on as we do this today. So first interesting thing of the day is something that I definitely wanted to see. It's a male monistic European rabbit, and with that score estimate, he definitely could make gold. So I want to make sure he stops. Just go ahead and take him out right there. And that's actually pretty cool. I really hope he makes it, because we had that one day on Te Auro where we killed two melanistic European rabbits, I think one male and one female, and uh, they both ended up just being a silver, so ideally this guy's gonna make it, and that'll be something we can actually add to that uh, bar that I mentioned where there's the little plaques, but we have to see. We have to see if he's actually going to cooperate and uh, make it, because I know they can be silvers with that estimate. We'll take a quick screenshot of that actually, just because at least there's a chance. And we're going to cross our fingers and hope for a gold. And he is a gold. Just barely. But that's actually one to keep. So that was something I mentioned with the European rabbits. I want to hunt more of them because of the rares. And now we have a keeper. In almost four years of playing this game, I've never seen one of these. And I've not actually spotted everything, so I don't see anything better. But that is a male albino wild boar. I think the score estimate is one that just couldn't make gold, but we'll just drop him there and win the uh, competition. I think it was like hit an animal over 200 meters. Apparently I'm just typing, we'll kind of make that not a thing, but yeah, I, I actually, I guess I have seen one in multiplayer, but I wasn't the one to shoot it. I'm pretty confident in saying that I have never shot a male albino wild boar. I'm almost certain they're gold at 98 just from hunting feral pigs, they have the same, like, scoring. But still, that's a really cool thing to find. We're hunting out here at night, uh, the server is Red Fox Drink Time, so I kind of started looking for them. And of all things, we find that. So if we just kind of fall down in here, it actually spawns us a little bit, like, closer to the other side, which is actually useful. But yeah, I'm thinking back, I do remember being a part of like a level 2 albino wild boar being harvested, but I wasn't the one to shoot it, and this guy had the, uh, I wonder if that's the same fox, it probably is. He had the weight estimate of like a level 3 wild boar that could make gold, but I'm pretty sure at that score it's been only up to 92 that he can't make it. I'm almost certain it's 98 just from hunting feral pigs and them having the same like scoring. I hope I'm wrong. But still, that's a really, really cool thing to run into, and on a night server, of all things, but I know I don't have any screenshots like this, so of course that actually turns the light off, so what I might do is just take a normal screenshot, like that, and let's see, man, he's just like the musk deer, 92.3, still a silver, but we may just kind of, like, hang on to that and... I don't know, at least temporarily throw him in the trophy lodge. It just looks so cool, and I've always wanted one. It just took, apparently, a random Hirschfeld and Night server to actually run into one. I wish he was a little bigger, but that's really, really cool. Apparently, the theme of today is just going to be rares, because we have a piebald level 6 stag out there, which, unfortunately, is not even. I want to say that rack, if it was even, like, with the one on the right side, might be able to make gold, but with him being uneven, I just don't see it, so I am perfectly willing to try a 300 meter shot here, because I don't think he can be. That should be a lung, though. I don't know how 
we managed to get such unfortunate luck with uh, specific trophy animals having really ugly racks. Because I feel like 90 to 95% of the antlered animals we see are even. But like with the diamond mule deer and one of our diamond red deer and now this piebald red deer, they just don't look that good. So I've been coming up here because I've seen some decent red fox and I keep checking all of the fur types on these ones that could make gold just in case. But they all seem to be pretty much just uh, average sized commons. But yeah, I mean, I think that might be the highest level uh, rare true rack red deer we've shot. I know we have a level 5 albino, maybe two level 5 piebalds, maybe even three. I know we shot a couple over there on Parquet as well, but I mean, yeah, it's definitely an improvement. Maybe something for like our secondary lodge. But if we can come up here and find him, we'll kind of see what he ends up scoring. Okay, so plan is we're going to claim this guy on the run because I'm getting run over by red deer females. And yeah, I mean, not that close. I don't even know if he was even if he can make it. 203 kg is probably too low. It's still cool. I'm really not a fan of that rack, but good to see another rare, and one that we don't get many of. We've had a number of rare red stags, but I guess one of the better ones if there's a bright side. We are literally right back where we started, but with the level 3 European rabbit this time. Same burrow set and everything, different server, but if we can just pop that guy right there, gotta be honest, for a second there, so I'm making sure there's nothing else decent around here. I thought we missed, because he didn't react, but I always forget they do that. Let's actually go ahead and just get him as well, and of course he actually died immediately. But we might as well uh, take advantage of like that score estimate potentially having a chance of being a diamond. I wouldn't find it too likely there's two diamonds just chilling at the same burrows, but you never know. And I'm pretty much just killing time. This server's about to switch to Red Fox drink time and it worked out with the wild boar. So I came down here, we got ourselves a gold European rabbit, and at least hopefully a diamond European rabbit. I think maybe, actually I'm not certain, but that might be a different fur type than our diamond from Te Awaroa. That would definitely be good if it is. But yeah, just another random rabbit kill that we can add to that bar I mentioned. I didn't think we'd really get more than one uh, trophy rabbit today, but that's two now. This is not really a situation that I expected for the end of this video. So we spent like six hours in multiplayer last night and we got those four trophies and I think at least three of them are gonna go in the main lodge. I'll probably put the piebald red deer in one of our secondary lodges and I may replace that piebald musker that we just shot with the albino wild boar, but I came back this morning and I didn't really have much luck, but I got onto a max weight fox track. You can still see it on the side here, but there's one track, you can see that one lit up in blue, and that's it. All these white ones were females that I tracked just to see if maybe he was with them. So the host left, and I want to see if I can find that. I just don't see a lot of max weight fox tracks, but that means for the moment, I can't go back to the trophy lodge and I do have to like stop and edit this video. So I thought we'd come out here and give it one chance. I reset the time to like 5 a.m. because Red Fox would be feeding. But I certainly don't see him anywhere in this area. And it's so hard to say based off of one track if he feeds anywhere around here. That's actually a fairly decent sign. Now I gotta be careful though. If I spot any Red Fox that's not him, that is going to remove any ability to know like what track this is unless we actually identify it. But... We're at least gonna quickly look up here. And if he's not there, then we're just gonna have to wrap up the video here because otherwise it's gonna be late. And if anything good comes out of tracking that fox, I guess it'll be in a future video, but I see one not lit up fox track. So looks like that's probably the one that I had tracked earlier. So I guess that probably is going to wrap it up here. So hopefully we can find that. Uh, like I said, if we do and it's anything good, it'll be in a future video anyway. But yeah, we'll have to go back to the Trophy Lodge for our rabbits and wild boar later, because I really want to try to find this, and I just simply don't have time uh, to uh, continue looking right now. So anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.